bottom layer, first round of match play at the U.S. Amateur. Uh, pretty quick work today. How'd you, how'd you do it? I uh, played good, um, and he didn't have his best day. I would say uh, I wouldn't expect the matches ever to come up to finish that quick. They don't seem to do that. Uh, most of the time, match play has come down to 17, 18, kind of, in almost every match, it seems. So I don't expect the matches to end that quick the rest of the week. Maybe they will, maybe. You know, that'd be great. Obviously, I'm excited to be done for the day and have some time to rest for the, the long day tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, very pleased with how I, how I managed my game out there today and uh, excited for tomorrow. Any holes that were key to the, ma to the match got you started or, you know? Um, I buried the first hole, hit, hit it in there close and made a nice four putter and then got up and down on the next hole from the top spot to go two up early. And uh, I gave him one actually on, on six. But then I made some. I made a couple of really, really good two putts on seven and eight, and stuck it to a foot on nine, and turned it four up, and it, it kind of was, you know, tough for him to come back from that. Good. Questions? Just use your voice so we can get that words on the transcription. What, how does it feel to just get this first match playing on, on your belt? Yeah, your it feels great. Uh, I haven't made it past the first round in, in an amateur or a U.S. Junior yet, so it, I've struggled to get to match play and then to win. So this is the furthest I've gone already in one of these. So I'm excited to get that out of the way. Um, I have played some match play this year between NCAA's and the Palmer Cup, so I had some nice experience, and I felt way I feel so much more comfortable playing match play now than I ever have, especially on this course. So uh, very pleased with today. Couldn't have gone any better. I mean, the first day you want to get out there, get out there early, get done early, and have time to rest for the big day tomorrow. So. Very pleased. And your first win in match play in those two events that you met, that you mentioned, with the big stage of the amateur, close to home, you're a Georgia Tech guy, world number one ranking. That's a little bit of yeah. weight on your There's shoulders. A lot going on. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot going on. But uh, I'm handling it well. The, the stroke play is such a beast because it's just a circus out here. The first two days, There's so much going on. There's so many players. There's Good draws, bad draws, 312 players on the course. I mean, it's just, you know, today is so much more. The pace of play is amazing. It's twosomes because it's match play. You guys pick up when they're out of the hole. I mean, it's completely more my in my element. The match play seems to be here, just the pace of play. Because I, I had huge problems the first few days with the pace of play. You know, it's hard for me to stay patient, but today I can, I can kind of walk to the beat of my own drum and get, I stayed in momentum and rhythm all day. Literally, you don't look like you can throw the sweat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously feels that way compared to the last two days. What did you find after round one? Obviously, you weren't happy with the first round. What did you find after that? And what it, Was it just the pace of play? Was it, that really No, it was, it was, I hadn't played, I hadn't played in four weeks. I haven't kept score in a round in four weeks. I played the Scottish Open and took a vacation practice but I hadn't kept score in a competitive round and seriously just my game felt good coming in but it just it was a little off that day and I was hitting it too far my irons were pure but I wasn't totally in control of them and I, I just didn't play anything like myself um, but I learned from that and I got the first anxious feelings out I mean I was so anxious to start that first round it was a joke the most anxious I've ever been to start a round my whole life to finally get this thing started so I kind of got over that the first day and got back to a little bit more back to normal and uh, started feeling more like myself on the course. And I had an amazing stretch of holes yesterday that got me right back in a comfort zone. I, I, I was thinking, you know, I was going to have to do something at the end, maybe. It could have been that way, but to get to five under with five, four holes left, three holes left, I was five under, and I could kind of just limp my way home and still make it. So that was nice. I think most would look at playing at home as an advantage. Are there disadvantages to playing at home? Yeah, um, definitely. If you if you make it that way, uh, it can definitely be a distraction for me playing here with so many people watching. And uh, but I think it I think part part of it bothers the guy I'm playing against. Uh, I know it bothered the two guys we played with yesterday. The last two days we had so many people. And, as soon as I put out the galleries walking ahead, I'm sure Tigers players like it or, or Rory, like I feel like 
almost a little bit like that. Like yeah. they're there to watch me and they don't care as much about, you know, that's just the nature of how it is here for me. So I feel like uh, I'm putting out and then they're, they don't care anymore. They're walking the next hole. That's what it was like the last two days. Today, um, I think this guy had never played in a crowd like that. So and most of the week I might be playing with God. I could be playing against guys that have never played in a situation this big with that big of a crowd. And I definitely handle it well. And uh, so I, that's an advantage because I make it that way. But it could definitely be a disadvantage if I wasn't that way. Did you follow through on your strategy of not knowing who you were going to play until you got the team? I tried to, but it didn't work out. I, <laughs> I found out really quick. Yeah. That's impossible. Yeah, so you'll know tomorrow. I'll know. Tomorrow you're yeah, I'll know. Yeah. Who I'm but I still stayed with, I'm playing Highlands. And I, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to keep score today on Highlands. I'm going to shoot as low as I can. So I was kind of keeping, I was like still keeping score like I'm playing stroke play. Whereas I, I didn't care about just beating the guy. I wanted to shoot my num a good number that I can feel good about. Now, what do you do the rest of the day now? You got, you got this time. Um, you hit much or you just? Eat some, or practice a little bit, maybe eat some lunch. I don't know. Yeah. I got a lot of time. To, I'll probably go back to my house and read a book. I like to read, like, I'm reading Sevi's book right now. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'll probably go read. It kind of gets my mind off everything. And, and uh, I like to read about other great players. I'll read stuff like I read the Dolls book a couple weeks ago. I like to do that when, whenever there's downtime in tournaments. Because there is, there's times where you get done and you have all day to, to do whatever. And you don't want to sit there thinking all day about the tournament. Yeah, you're having your Spanish period now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Which city book are you reading? Uh, his autobiography that he wrote. Might go see a movie, something like that. Anything else, Roland? Well, Blake, Thanks. thank you.